What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft here on the internet. I'll be your host, Internet McGee. And I'm here with your chat friends. I've been having the worst day, as you can tell. The other one just sent without warning. <laughs> William, I'm so sorry, buddy. Glad. Hopefully we can, uh, we can pick you up a little bit. All right, what are we taking here? I like a turn one Ashiok. That is a solid dude. Mole Drifter, maybe. Overgrown Tomb, maybe. Maybe. I think Ashiok is strong enough to take first pick. Despite my uh, overwhelming admiration for the card. Slime never flimes. That's true. I've never flimed with a slime before. That's a, that's a valid point. I had not considered that. I'm going to take this Ashiok. I think. Ooh. My god. Turn one Ashiok does seem busted. Uh, did I say turn one? I meant pick one. I don't know if I said turn one. I'm going to take Ashiok. And then we're just going to get past the Jace the Mind Sculptor. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Jace the Mind Sculptor, I guess. Oh, Dragon Lord Silumgar and a Jace Vrin's Prodigy. I feel like we're in the right colors here. I'm pretty much okay with all these things. I think Dragon Lord Selimgar might be the pick. I think it might be better than Jace Vrin's Prodigy. Yeah, I'm going to take the Selimgar and hope either one of these four cards comes back. Selimgar is real strong because you can do things uh, like steal their Planeswalker and ultimate it. And that's pretty cool. I think it's just remove soul here. Pestermite's cool, but we're not we're not red right now. And I don't care about Stroke or Drolf's Messenger. I'm going to take the remove soul. Oh, control magic. And the Drowned Catacomb? <sighs> A serum vision. I don't care about the serum vision as much. <laughs> it might just be control magic. I think I want. I think I want the drowned catacomb. There's not that many two color dual lands. All right. Well, now you're just now you're just playing with my emotions, Magic the Gathering. I thought this was a sick man of Rask, actually. I don't know why I got confused there. Yeah, this pack is pretty rough. Yeah. Or it's just Unruled Connections. I don't know. I can see playing it Unruled Connections, though. My problem with uh, Control Magic is there are a lot of effects like that. Like, even clones I consider almost close to a Control Magic if they have a really good creature. Like, we already have a Dragon Lord, Silumgar... And uh, there's also Sower and Treachery in the cube. Like, it's it's a great effect, but it's not super unique. So I'm not... I'll take... If we're two-color deck, it's harder to get fixing because there's only about four options. If you're like a three-color deck, you, you you jump right up to to 12 options. There's a, there's a creature land. There's a dual land. There's a fetch land. And there's a... The, the, the fast lands, I guess they're called. And there's also these check lands, I guess. So there's five. There's five options. But then you jump up to 15 if you play a three-color deck. So. Hmm. It's the bad Soren. I hate that Soren. I'm going to take this Wretched Confluence. I'm a big Wretched Confluence fan. I'm going to take a Massacre Worm, I think. Massacre Worm just wins games. Yeah, it's interesting because it's actually harder to fix uh, two-color decks than three-color decks 
and also there's going to be a lot more double colors in two color decks interestingly enough this is not the one i preferred to come back but i'll take it yeah i'll just take this in case i don't know Have you ever read The Praetor, Frank? Uh, she's one of the winningest Q... Oh, have I ever read The Praetor? Yes. Yes, I have. I don't think... I don't think she's the winningest when you're hard casting her, though. That's my... That's my concern. I do agree with your power level. Your power level evaluation, though. Yeah, I got that two-drop slot looking... Looking decent on... On point. I like a looter here because it does let us pitch things like this or this to get it back if we get like a uh, barrel rights or something. The only other card I would consider is dissolve, which is not bad. Not a great pack, but we did get a J second pick last time, so. I think I like looter just because there are more effects like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Looter. Wow, that's a. I guess that's not a late Primeval Titan, but that is a Primeval Titan. I like Makeshift Mannequin here. Tassiger is interesting. I don't think there's actually gonna be that many cards put into the graveyard in this cube. Ponder is also fine. It's either Ponder or Makeshift Mannequin, I think. I wish we could take this guy. I just don't foresee us even playing this for Aska, unfortunately. Okay, don't do that. Just win. What are your favorite pizza toppings or ideal pizza? Ideal pizza is just uh, cheese with extra sauce. And I do like black olives and onions and green peppers as toppings. Those are my preferred toppings. Uh, also, sun-dried tomato is uh, is an on-point topping. I want to take this because I think this is a, a little more powerful than ponder. Living Death is interesting. This pack is actually pretty stupid. And by that, I mean not very good. We take Swords to Plowshares just in case we were white. We have a Concealed Courtyard. We actually have no white cards. There's no real incentive to do that. Careful Consideration is nice. Let's just discard some cards. I don't think it's great, though. Can't wait for Legacy Q to be a Surveil format. <laughs> Let's take Living Death and see what we can do. Let's let's try to build around this card, I think. Birds of Paradise, that just makes me want to be blue. And by that I mean green. And the gate's actually pretty strong. In case you guys didn't know. Cube should really be a mentor for me. <laughs> oh, you guys are gas. That's going up tonight and tomorrow night, in case you guys missed it. Me and uh, the two mics did a set review, a Guilds of Ravnica set review, and that will be going up two nights and tomorrow night at 9 p.m., so. Well, Arena doesn't make us discard, though, unless you're just talking about going to hand size. I probably just want Negate. We already have Underworld Connections. 
Which I don't know why both of these are in the cube. It's essentially the same card, really. Watery Grave is nice. I'm going to take this Watery Grave. I think it's probably more important than Animate Dead. And then obviously I want the Flooded Strand to come back, but I don't foresee that happening. Oh, this pack's bad. Could just take Kira, actually. It makes a... Uh... No, this is still worse. Because it still becomes the target of it, even if it's a... Uh... This pack's not very good. I think it's still Kira. Kira's still pretty good. It's the only card I could even consider taking in this pack. Oh, I like getting them. I also like Ravenous Chupacabra. I think it's the strongest of the... It is. It's 100% the strongest of the... Uh, 157 creatures? Is that what it's called? I like it better than Force Spike. Four Spike's kind of a pet card now because we just get them, but... Yikes. Looking, looking, looking sparse here. Alright, I'll take a Tassiger, I guess. No, oh, the Glacial came back. That's fascinating. No Nyctos? No, not really. We're going to have like two pips and it's just going to break even. In case we end up being green somehow. I've never read the text to make shift or make shift mannequin, but I'm pretty sure it says got him. Yeah, it might. I think it does say got him. It's that instant speed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty flat curve. I agree with you. We are in agreement. Oh, a blue, a blo a blooming marsh. I didn't know if I wanted to say blossoming marsh or blooming marsh. I always get blossoming and blooming confused in terms of lands. So here we are. All right, Polluted Delta, oh man. Oh man, Necromancy is so good. But it's Polluted Delta, guys. It gets both of our colors and it gets a watery grave for us. I'm gonna take the Delta. I think the land is so so important in this in the two color decks. Like, because like, we need a blue and a black, double blue, double black, double blue, double black, double black, double blue for the ability, triple black, double blue, double black. Like, it's, it's very important to have at least one land. Any chance you guys circle back a month or so to release to see if any of your opinions change? Um, maybe. I mean, my only problem with that is that the it took about five hours to do, and and uh, Rob lives about forty minutes away, so it's not super convenient to just get together to to do to do things like that. But, I do like the idea. Six mana, six mana, four mana. It actually might just be Damnation. I think I like Damnation in our control deck. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I like Into the Royal. I like another Jace. I do like Hypnotic Spectre. I'm not sure if we want it, though. I also like Mana Confluence way more than I should. Thank you. The Third Tail. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I think we just want another three drop and another card that... I was hoping this was a Bloodstain. Oh my god! Lucky, 
Ooh, Jace Bellerin. Skin Render and a Daze. And a Toxic Deluge in case you want another Damnation effect. <laughs> this is definitely not a show and tell deck, unfortunately. I actually, people hating blue is not my. It's not been my experience. I don't care about this guy. I think it's actually days. Bayou, interesting. It might just be opt. I don't love opt here. I actually don't like Bontu's Last Reckoning when we already have Damnation and Living Death. Colonnade doesn't let us cast anything but Declaration and Stone. Bayou again could be fine. Maybe we can just play the Vraska. Because right now we have Blooming Marsh, Bayou, and we have Polluted Delta to get a Bayou. So I don't know if that's good or not. I do like a Kalidus. I also like a Malicious Affliction. We actually don't have that much uh, spot removal. I want to take the Malicious Affliction. Hostage Taker and a Frost Titan. My word. Frost Titan's real good, but we really don't need another 6-drop. I don't know if I like Living Death here. I feel like our opponent's just going to get the better end of that stick. Pernicious dude. Come on, buddy. Get it together. Yeah, we'll just take Hostage Taker. Oh, Botanical Sanctum. That makes our choices easier for... Uh... I'm going to take this Gaunti, though. I think Gaunti's real good. I wish that hero's downfall came back. Yeah, I'll take a Kaga. Oh, the Mana Confluence. Actually, that's pretty good. Uh, I like Noxious Gearhulk, but we already have Hostage Taker and uh, Ravenous Chupacabra, so I'm not too concerned with having a 6-mana version of that. Yeah, this is actually fine. Skin Runner coming back. That was one of the cards I was looking at. Sure. It's a late Celestial Colonnade and a late Goblin Goblin Guido. Look at this! Look at this curve now. What do you guys? What do you guys have to say about the curve now? <laughs> Got it. Okay. Well, that's cool. Way to. Yep. Oh, yep. Still gonna move all. Yep. All right. That is. That is some quality programming right there, my friends. I do like this and Living Death. It's actually kind of cool. But we also have to have a Living Death in our hand, and it also prevents us from playing any other creatures before that point. Maybe that's good. I don't know. We'd also have Luteral Luter Core to help that out. So if I highlight everything, and then I click on a single card, and then I try to move, that now it works. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, alright, now it works. I have no idea. And I think we have to cut one of these six drops realistically. <clears throat> I think it's probably part the water veil. Actually, we can cut Shieldred, I guess. We could also add Vraska. Did we get the Botanical Sanctum? No, we didn't take that. With Mana Confluence, there's actually four sources of black. Or green, rather. <laughs> Not black, green. You know, the other color. Boost pudding. Thank you so much for the boost pudding. Thank you so much for the for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> Shouldered is my mom. She needs this job. She's been out of work for months. Oh my god. I wish we had more reanimate cards. Like I'd be actually eager to play Shouldered if that was the case.
Oh, Isoreth is probably not a card I'm looking for here. Everything else is fine, though. I actually think I do like Shouldered better than Part the Water Veil. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is 12 black sources. I think we can go down to 11, maybe. And this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably just go to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. This is 11, 10. Yeah, that seems really good. I heard you like mountains, so I'd go with that. Yeah, that's a solid strategy. Solid strategy. Nathan, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. I mean, yeah, I'm Frank Lepore. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a little more on on brand, I think. <laughs> oh man, we have a good time. Nathan, why aren't we doing any casting together? That's all I want in the world. I want this dynamic on a casting on a casting uh, bench. This is cringy, but I'll keep it. Where's the dodgeball clip? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, I have a gift for you. Uh, I'll be at GP Denver, actually. If you want to see me there. Go to GP Denver. And then we can hang out. Okay, well, I'm tempted to go to Portland. I'm not sure yet. I have not... I have not uh, pulled the trigger on Portland yet. Dingus egg, welcome back, buddy. Buckling down for the spicy cube meatball. Hang on to your... Oh, man, I should have kept the hang on to your butts meme on the... Liked your videos in the past. No longer, though past tense we're gonna get water grave here i don't think we want uh we can use mana confluence for Vraska. it's not a huge deal I Oh, here we go. Pestermite confirmed. All right, let's see if you whiff. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put all of them on the bottom. Dang. Thank you. Indominus86, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, well, this is pretty good. Hey, it's that one guy's mom and... <laughs> Rogue Praetor, I feel like you would know, buddy. I feel like you would know. Hmm. No play, huh? Well, hot stuff. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they want to go pester might tap down our things. Here we go. Oh, they didn't do it. All right. Well, this is pretty. Uh... I feel like this is a pretty uneventful match so far. I messaged you speaking about the colors control. Oh, Indominus. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got your email too. Sweet. Yep. Not gonna not gonna respond to this guy. I don't care about your one three. Are you just gonna keep up counter spells for the rest of the game? That's really sad. 
Biggie Tattoos, I know you. I know you. Thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. That is good times. We could play Vraska, but they have four mana up. We ain't living that life. I'm just going to play Nimble Obstructionist. I was in Bradenton for last week. Last week, for, This last week for vacation, I forgot how hot Florida can be. Yeah, I have not forgotten that. Oh, they paid two. Look, they've basically done the same amount of damage to themselves as they've done to us. So. They actually have. They've done three of themselves and three to us, and we took one from the uh, Delta. I'm just going to play this dude. Don't counter my little bird man. B -b -b bird man. God, I really almost that. Uh... I have an irrational fear about tapping out here, I'll be honest with you. I, mean, I feel like we just have to do something because they're probably going to kill this. They, we know they have stroke in hand, so. Yep, that is fine. Well, they didn't kill our guy, so that's a, that's a win. Wow, that's rude. I was just cut off on the server view and it was great. Thanks so much, Valley Man. Appreciate it, buddy. It's also going on YouTube, so hopefully you guys watch it on YouTube. Vraska, she's an old lady. You got it. Nailed it. One, two, three, four, six, seven. All right, so we know one of your cards is Stroke. Stoke? Stoke the flames. Don't stroke the flames. If you stroke the flames, I cannot be held responsible for the outcome. That's just weird. Don't be weird, guys. Yeah, unfortunately, Mike Mike didn't really say anything in the video. Like, he was just very, very quiet. No blocks. All right, we're even again. Dungeon Geist. Yeah, that's fine, because we're going to actually play Shieldred here. And hope we don't die. Oh, no. Let's see if we die with these two in hand. Come on, don't have it. We know one of the cards is Stoke. So, like, you have to have the other two cards exactly. It has to be Stoke, one of the three mana guys, and then Splinter Twin or Pester Might. Like, okay, we did it. We untapped. I would like to get this Ravenous Chupacabra back, but... Lucky, 
Always a pleasure, Splinter Twin. Always a pleasure. It doesn't have summoning sickness. They just wait. Wait. So here's a here's an here's the thing that comes up pretty regularly. I don't think they even realized it. They didn't even realize they had summoning sickness. They probably were just going to try to win there. He, he, he. I mean, like, so I always have to go over the, like, the why don't you concede immediately when people have the combo on board. Um, And the reason I make them play it out is because they don't know what I have, right? So if I have a removal spell and you make exactly 20 guys and I'm at 20, I kill one of them, I go to one, right? You, you haven't won within the confines of Magic Online. The, you haven't made infinite. You have to make a finite number of guys, and I have things I can do in response. So, um... But, like, a lot of people don't like that, and they don't see it as, like, courteous or, uh, you know, uh, respectful. Like, some people don't see that as respectful. So I try to do it more often, especially in the Legacy Cube. In the Legacy Cube, I'm like, this is a fun cube. We'll just play it, whatever. I'll just concede. It's not a big deal. And it turns out, <laughs> this is why you don't do that. That's so stupid. It's just like seeing, um, like seeing the combo. Once you see Deceiver X Arc and Splinter Twin, and they have three cards in hand, and two of them were those cards, and you're actually like condition yourself to assume that they have it, and then they do. Like there is a certain tilt factor, and you're just kind of like, oh, I'm done, without actually processing the fact that like they don't win on the spot there. Oh God, I can't believe it. I probably just win that game. I win that game a hundred times out of a hundred. I think if we just get to like. Keep Shield right on board. Play Ravenous Chupacabra. And, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, we're not on red here. I think we're just going to play Nimble Instructionist here. Hmm. Right, Kiki is in the cube too. So, like, sometimes you just get them confused. You just feel like if they have both of them, it's infinite, right? With Kiki Jiki, it doesn't matter if it's summoning sickness. Which is why I even responded to the person who said it with, like, it doesn't matter, it's Kiki Jiki. That's interesting. I mean, we have to tap it down, but it's still, we still get to use the mana, so. Yikes. That's a good dude.
Tangle wire in this cube is so weird. It just doesn't feel like it has a place. There's no like stack stack in this cube. Fascinating. Watch this great this game we just die immediately because of the stupid Oh god. The problem is when they have the combo, especially when they have multiple pieces of the combo, like every game you win, you just need you need every advantage you can get, right? Sorry for the misplay. What does that mean? Sure. Yeah, but it just feels like a delayed reaction, right? Like five minutes later. Here we go. Seems good. Uh, they probably had it. They just don't want to play around three open mana. I mean, if we bounce it, we just our Jace just dies, which is pretty brutal. I'd almost rather in, end of turn get back uh, Nimble Obstructionist to keep our mana up. Oh, during attack seems good too, because we can block the stupid Pestermite. might have mystic snake <laughs> oh man maybe i mean it's definitely possible and then we can top take a damnation and just blow everything up They have two cards in hand. Like, I'm pretty sure they're going to use Chandra here. It's Exile, right? Oh, no, they just used the one. Hmm, fascinating. Imperial Recruiter. All right, this is actually looking much better. I guess they get Kiki Jiki, though, so I guess it's looking worse. Did they really get both pieces? They got Splinter Twin, Kiki Jiki, Desir, Exarch, and Pestermite. Because that's pretty impressive if you got all four pieces plus the Imperial Recruiter. So you got like all five. Okay. Okay, that's good. We're in good shape here. Oh, this is so bad. Like if they know how, if they know how to see Rex Arc works, this is pretty bad. They just tap down the Nimble Obstructionist, which is pretty terrible. Maybe they don't know. But to be fair, this is never going to get any value if they have... 
Oh my god, really? Oh wow. Oh wow, the value is so real there. Hmm. Like, the other hand is Deceiver Exarch and one other card. I actually don't know what it would be. I'm just going to run this out here. It's obviously Twin, yeah. It's obviously Twin. God, it really is, isn't it? It's definitely going to be Twin, isn't it? I don't think they're going to go for it with four untapped mana on my side of the board. Like, I just don't think they're going to do that. Like, they even played around four spike last game. All right, get this thing out of here. Two cards in hand. Let's see if every game they've just had it. They also could have tapped one of my lands down instead of tapping untapping one of their random lands, which is interesting. Hmm. It's just like the worst feeling ever. You feel like they always have it, you know? And God, if we just played correctly last game, getting the Ravenous Chupacabra out of the graveyard to kill their guy with, with Splinter Twin on it would have been so insane. No, even if you have if you have Kiki Jiki in the deck, you go get it with Imperial Recruiter. Okay, okay, I'm down. I am D O W N. All right, let's take four. Can I get a damnation one time? Although this Chandra is actually getting uh, pretty oppressive as well. Could always bounce this attack Chandra for two. And then we take another four though. Like the problem is they're attacking us on a lot of different metrics right now. Like Stoke just kills us as well. Like if they just go negative seven, look at the top ten cards, they find a Stoke and they just kill us. It's pretty bad. We're also one away from getting playing Tassiger and playing Jace. Like we play Jace, we bounce this, um, and then we have one, two, three, four, five for Tassiger, which is pretty terrible. Why doesn't it have art? Like, what's going on? And we go to four and like we're dead to Stoke anyway. So it's right, this this feels really bad. I almost feel like we have to Gaunti here, because it just doesn't like Jace bounce this, kill this. It doesn't even do anything. Yeah, I think like I feel like we just have to Gaunti. We can't malicious affliction <laughs> Jace. Oh boy. Three lands and a Jace. Power just flickered, so I would not be surprised if we were no longer live. The Jace doesn't do anything, but the land does. The land lets us play. Can 
Can we not do that? We can't play lands. Can you not play lands with Gonti? Cast that card. Well, I was just going to play Jace, so. Or not Jace, uh, Tasker, rather, so. Yep. That's weird. I was thinking, I was equating it to Night Veil vale Spectre, where Night Veil vale Spectre you can just play the lands, because that's a very similar ability, so it's very strange that they would uh, have two different two different wordings for a very similar ability when you get a card from your opponent's deck. Oh well. This match was our I mean I uh, this match was, this loss was definitely our fault. So. Let's see if they just go for Chandra and Whiff. It's very possible. Any 3 damage burn spell kills us. So. We couldn't play Jace this turn anyway, and I don't actually see a turn where we would have played Jace. So, like, next turn we'd probably just play Tasker and uh, our Jace. Maybe we're not dead. I don't know. They did list block with uh, Makeshift Mannequin, so... Hmm. Magic is hard. Is it reveal? It's exile. All right. Well, Siege Gang, Exquisite Firecraft. Fantastic. If you actually didn't hit Exquisite Firecraft, we would have been fine. That's literally you hit one card, and if you just didn't hit that one, it would have been cool all right well that was a fun match first game we concede when we have the win on board and that that's a good setup for the day that's how i want to start my day throw away games and then die to splinter twin positive vibes positive vibes put them into the world really sure Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Yeah, the problem is I do care, though. Look, they got rid of our days, so it's basically like we dazed. It's like we dazed, so. One Boo Earns Buck. I don't know. I get harder on myself when I lose just because um, magic as a game is hard to sustain on uh, as something to stream. I think they... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, boy. We're having a good time. Mm, you and you. I guess we actually should have hid the cards we want to keep, but the problem is if they kill Jace, then we want to actually keep the cards we want to play in hand as well. So it's kind of like a... Gonti. Yikes. So we put Vraska and... Uh, what was the other card back? We love you even though you were a loser. Wow. Wow. Best Jace is in the house tonight. Um, all right, so what do we put back? Vraska and Damnation? Sure. This also makes it easier for us to hit lands, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Vampus, no worries, buddy. No worries. Magic is a hard game. I misplayed as well, so... All right, so they, um, I don't know where the other, their cards go on the bottom, so I guess they have either, they could, really? Really? They looked at four cards. We looked at four cards. There weren't a single, there wasn't a fifth land in the top eight cards of the deck is what you're telling me? That is shocking. Wow.
Yeah, I don't think we're going to play, play Ashiok. I think we're going to let them play Vraska, and then we're going to nibble obstruction the ability to keep Jace on board. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's amazing. We can also keep up Malicious Affliction and remove Soul, which is nice. Oh my god, Valley Man, you're too good. You're too good. Your generosity is... Muy bueno. Interesting, they're just going to attack, huh? I have. I feel like you took Vraska, right? I think Jace can go to one. Look at eight cards deep. There's not going to be a fifth land. Like, what is... That's not okay. It does say non-black, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty bad. We're going to make sure to sideboard that guy out. So you have removed soul and obstructionist at least. That's okay. You gonna pump it? What's going on right now? The problem is we have things we can do. Like we can play Chupacabra, we can kill this guy, we can play Looter and keep up remove soul. Uh, this is only game two, so round two, and I'm pretty sure you're here for most of round one. So we have not actually... Sure. I didn't have a counter for that anyway. Hmm... I think we're just playing Looter. We want to hit lands here. We know there's a Dragonlord Silumgar on the top. What overall grade did I give Gills of Ravnica? I didn't actually give it a, a grade per se. You have to kill this, right? Yeah, that's fine. I think a C is probably about right. There's a lot of reprints and a lot of like... A lot of like weird walls and one toughness creatures. It's very strange. A weird set. They have three cards in hand. Let's see if we can hit a land. Oh, we can also Dragonlord Silumgar. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to attack your face. I want to hit a land and discard Dragonlord Silumgar. Yep, that's what we want to do. What do we get here? Triple Swamps. Well, that's something. I don't know, everyone was talking about how it was like, oh, it's like the best design set I've ever seen. Like, it's so good. It's right up there. And I'm like, I don't think so, man. Sure. That's really sad. Yep, you got it. Do you just kill it? Do you just negative five, Ashiok? Or do you just plus it and assume I don't have anything to deal with it? It definitely has more than three great cards. Um, Mentor does seem really weak. Like, you have to have a creature that's smaller, and it only stays smaller for so long. I'm not a big fan of Mentor. It's also kind of weird. Like, if you have a 2-2 with Mentor, like, you literally have to have a 1-1 one -one or a 1-2, or else it's like a blank. Like, and that creature also has to attack. I don't know. Yeah, I hate these lands. Untap land lets us play Chupacabra and keep up malicious or keep up remove soul. 
Let's see if we can hit a land, I guess. Maybe we can just hit a regular land and not have to worry about it. I just want to deal you some damage. Why don't you let this guy come through? Thank you. I guess we can actually wait a turn, really, right? We're not, like, under any pressure. We can just keep up removal salt and mannequin. Yeah, this is fine. I don't want to, like, play Ravenous Chupacabra, kill this, and then have them just drop a shield or something. That seems pretty bad. I think taking five is pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think that's remove soluble. That's hard to deal with. Well, there you go. I guess let's see what we hit. I want to be sad if it's a good card and I just have to get rid of it because of this stupid land I played, but... Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Oh my god. I think Pernicious Dude has probably been one of the people who has had the most gifted subs in this chat. Thing is, I have my eye on reanimating the Dragonlord Slumgar and taking the Veraska at this point. I guess we could still do that. Yikes. Yeah, alright, no cards in hand. Seems good. Do you just kill this and attack me for six? You have to kill this, right? No? Fascinating. Yeah, the problem is if we played Kaiga last turn, we'd have much better mana usage because this turn we'd be able to uh, play both Mannequin and Ravenous Chupacabra, which I think was probably better. I think that's actually better. I think I'm just finding uh, it's hard to deal with the snowball effect here that's happening. 
Damnation would be pretty insane. Damnation can keep up Mannequin. We haven't seen Damnation. Oh, that's actually very good. That's what we wanted. Yeah, that's perfect. Unfortunately, the host the the hypnotic specter is able to. Uh... Oh man, the hippie is able to sh to steal the mannequin if we don't cast the. Yeah, we're just gonna take the this. If they want to kill it with uh, Vraska, that's fine. We're gonna keep up mannequin. They have no cards in hand. We're gonna mannequin the Kaiga. Kaga? Kaiga? Wow! <laughs> what a rip, dude. Oh my god. Actually incredible. Ah, <sighs> good times, good times. Lucky, 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 lucky. Is it Mannequin or is it Solom? Oh my god, we're gonna actually... No, we're gonna get back the Kega. Not the Kega, the... Uh, we're gonna get back the the Solomgar. Steal the Phyrexian Obliterator and block the Erebos. I mean, they, they are going to Vraska the Dragonlord Silumgar, which is unfortunate. They could just easily sack four lands, but... Might have been better to block the Gonti. Yeah, and then they get back their Phyrexian Obliterator. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't I, I don't know. That felt like a cute play in, in hindsight, but I don't, I'm not sure if it was the most responsible play. We're still actually pretty okay to um, Damnation. Is that good? What do they sack? They sack a, a Chupacabra. We have one blocker. We block here. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. We're probably dead to this guy. We kind of need a damnation here. Shoulders. Oh, and they're at seven, which is pretty comical, dude. If we could just survive this turn, we'd be fine, but I don't think we can. Actually, can we just block here? No, we take four, five, six, seven, eight, then. We're still dead. They just have too many guys. I guess they sack this, so we actually block here, take four, five, six. Unless that, for some, by some miracle, turned off the, uh, the Erebos, but I don't think so. One, two, three, yeah, that's, yeah, this guy's still being alive is insane. If this is a Merfolk looter, we might be in good shape. We can actually block here, nope, trample, block here, block here, sack five lands. Getting shoulder online is pretty insane, but we just have to survive, and we're not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. So. <sighs> Damnation is on the bottom of the deck because we put they put it there with the Gonti. That's a good point. Eh, whatever. What can you do? All right. Malicious Affliction is terrible. Skin Render, pretty good.
I will play first. You know what? I'm going to keep this hand because it's a turn three Ashiok, and that's good enough for me. I make dance. What's going on, buddy? Lucky, lucky, oh, Christ. Lucky. Oh, my God. Sometimes you just want to blow your brains out. That's absolutely unbelievable. Turn three, Ashok. That's how I'll keep this hand. Oh, I'll duress you? Okay, well. You got me. QQ. Sure. <laughs> Can't even attack this. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh, you got a 2 2? I'll play a 2 3. You got an Ashiok? I'll play a Duress. Okay. Must be nice. This is actually, yeah, this is a very tilting match. I'm not sure why. This, I think this whole draft has been tilting so far because our deck seems fine. A little on the top end. Um, but, yeah, what can you do? A swamp. I'm just giving them all their land drops. Here you go. Have all my lands. I mean, we have enough lands, so I'm actually fine with it. Yeah, that's a whiff. All right, so, all right, everything's coming up Millhouse, I guess. Gaunty. The one thing watching Cube is that if you think your deck is good, then you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what guild am I most excited to play? Uh, any of the... Any of the, you know, uh, Sultai-esque guilds. Golgari, Demir. Golgari! Masker Worm in the Graveyard. Makeshift Mannequin Mask Worm. Hostage Taker. That's a cutie. That is a cutie. I'll just take a million. Because, you know, you were able to take a Hostage Taker off of my Gonti. Literally kills nothing. That's actually comical. So I need to block. They're going to sacrifice the weakest card, which is probably this guy. Uh, we can block here. We take one, two, three, four. I think I'd rather get a card out of their hand. Also, if they have a way to reanimate Massacre Worm, we're dead, so... I guess fingers crossed. Oh, you're just going to kill it. You're just going to draw a card? Sure. Yep. Oh, actually we die if we if we play this, which is pretty comical. Yeah, we can play the Exiled card if we take the Hostage Taker. 
But they're just going to kill a Solomgar, so... What can you do? You can't? Wait, what? You don't get to do that? Well, that's a little interesting. Pretty sure we can't win now. Like, if we play Shouldered, they just sacrifice this and steal the Shouldered, right? Like, it's pretty brutal. And then we're dead on board. That's actually incredible. Oh, wow. This this match was absolutely miserable. And we're just dead to this, right? We just block. Oh, God. It's the one creature I didn't want you to have. Like, if you had a, a drag, like, we could just, oh, God. Or you can just, you can just uh, actually sacrifice this and kill us, but we have a blocker. So, 100% sacrifice this. Steal this. Meanwhile, every creature they have survives Massacre Worm. Yeah, they sacrifice, steal this, and then they get to... Uh... Oh, they actually get to attack with Erebos, actually, in that situation. So that's pretty bad. Because this gives them the, uh, the, extra, the extra oomph they need. And then we have to... We have nothing to sacrifice, because we're going to be blocking the Erebos, I guess. Yep. I mean, if we draw, like, Makeshift Mannequin for the Dragonlord Silumgar, I think that's good. But... Shut up and take my money. Okay, cool. Valley Man, I say next. Yes, we are very close to next right now. Cool. We have not won a game yet. This, this deck is not nearly as good as it looked when we got that first pick, uh... First pick, uh, Ashiok? No, it wasn't. I know our second pick was Jace. I forgot what our first pick was. Let me, I'll figure it out. I'm not going to read the chat right now. I'm going to figure it out for myself. I have no idea what our first pick was. Was that, was it Ashiok? Man. Yep, this hand's not going to work. Mulligan. Two six drops and a three drop. I'll keep it because the three drop is a hypnotic specter. Another six drop. You got to go. We do have a lot of six drops in our deck. I don't feel terrible about it. Oh, that's right. The turn one Ashiok meme. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I did forget about that. Well, I still get 40 play points if I win this match. So, And also, I'm making a video. So, I mean, I'm going to play it out and try to... Absolutely destroy this opponent. On the bright side, in round two, we did not throw away any matches. Uh, to just conceding out of nowhere. So that's good. That is positive. It's a good start. You know what? Okay. Island. Negate? Okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. Did he nail it? I don't know. That card's very good, though. I'm on my knees. Pretty, pretty, please. I'm really surprised that song is copywritten. It's actually like a song in a movie. Oh, they have two cards in hand. This is actually pretty good. 
well three cards now but i mean it's that's fine we're gonna make him discard the best one so and then we're gonna kill their ophiomancer i think might actually just gonti this is where i'm, I'm like hoping that ophiomancer doesn't have a secret flying ability it has reach, you know, because they're snakes and they can stand up on their hind snake legs. Ironically, that was a card I would have uh, rather you have kept in your hand because it's not very good against us. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Do we just double up on the Gontis? I think we do. Rampaging Bailoth, uh, we need lands more than anything. I'm just going to double Gonti. He's legendary, you know. You must be safe. Be careful, you cannot have two Gontis in play, you see. Yeah, that's fine. I accept. No, if they don't have a creature here, I'm just going to throw that, that card in the trash can. Oh, man. The card's going away. I'm not going to trade for a snake, though, because it just doesn't do anything. Do we play anything here? Maybe we just play... No, nah, we should probably keep up Negate, right? All right, let's see it. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we're just going to keep up Negate here. If thou would play the second Gonti, knowest that thine first Gonti must be sacrificed. Drana. If we can hit a land, that would be great. Well, now we don't need to hit a land. I want to hit a land so I can kill this and then make them discard the last card. But if you're just going to play the last card, I guess I, I guess I don't care. I'm actually surprisingly scared of Volras Stronghold when they have uh, actually. I kind of just want Consecrated Sphinx here. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, we're just going to Consecrated Sphinx. It prevents them from getting in with Drana. We don't actually care about the... Drana has Super Mentor. <laughs> uh, it's called Mega Mentor. Thank you very much. Oh, interesting. I'll take it. No blocks. Now your bloodthirst is triggered. Uh, Drana has Mega Mentor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm never... They're probably going to put Crater... One, two, three, one, two... Th yeah, they're probably going to put Crater Huff on top. So we probably have to do something about that. Like, not die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight mana. Put Crater Hoof on top, play Crater Hoof. Pretty sure this is what we want to steal. Because it gives us one more blocker and a way to kill the Crater Hoof. Crater Hoof is going to be what? They're all going to get three. So it's actually 8, 16, 24. We can actually survive. It's not going to feel great, though. This is a Mega Mentor format. Negate doesn't do anything. We're just Oh, they actually didn't put Crater Hoof on top. Okay, well, that's pretty good. So they get one turn, but I really wanted to, to steal one of their guys because... And we get to draw two. Hmm. Do I care about this? Yeah, 
I'm just going to keep drawing. I might care. Well, they don't have enough mana. It's, yeah, they do. They can still put... No, they can still put Crater Hoof on top. We can actually sacrifice something to, to this guy next turn, so that's pretty okay. My literal last buck. There's no way that's your literal last buck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still have eight mana. Days is actually pretty insane. So is Remove Soul, though. Both of these were great. Great hits. I think we probably want to close this game out. Initiate Snakes? These aren't initiate snakes. Those are Ophiomancer snakes. It's not like they're initiate. They're not like... They're not initiating to be something, right? I'm going to get rid of this Jirana. Oh, they have one card in hand. I didn't realize that had a card in hand. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't want you to... Oh, all right. That's just a game. I guess that'll do, pig. I guess that'll do. Can probably take out Malicious Affliction. Again, it's just not very good. Double black for a card that might kill... Yeah, the Skin Runner seems great here. For a card that might kill their... I don't think we saw any green creatures. <laughs> like... Damnation. Perfect. Perfect. I had $1.67 in my paycheck... In my checking account. Wow. Pernicious Dude, what's your story, buddy? What's your job, Sitch? We need to help you get a job. Can we? Can someone get Pernicious Dude a job? Okay. Now we're going to try for this turn three Ashiok. Fingers crossed. Also, Pernicious Dude, appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. Man, every game with this guy. Every game with this guy. Hmm, I don't know if I care about that, but we can play it eventually. I'll probably just get rid of the Vraska. I don't foresee us playing Vraska in any uh, reasonable time frame. I'm on mine. Uh, is it okay to ask you questions about deck critiques here? Yeah, go for it. Knock yourself out. Sacrifice a creature? Nay. I'm good. Thank you, though. Preesh. Huh. I'm tempted to just kill this, but I'm also tempted to just wait for them to uh, overextend into a damnation. But, like, I'm actually going to get rid of that. I think this is just a creature we can't keep around, unfortunately. Especially with Ashiok getting bigger and bigger. I'm on my knees. Why is this song? Now, yeah, you guys got this song stuck in my head. Oh, I make dance. You're George. I didn't know that. I have not read your most recent email yet. I did receive it, though. Oh, that's hilarious. I had no idea. What a time to be alive. Oh, that's a big thing. All right, all right, what are we doing here? I wish I had another land so I could cast this wretched confluence. Wait, no. 
wait, hold on. We don't have any creatures under this, right? Alright, so. Oh, that was a that was a good hit. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I think we just keep this up. I don't even know. I want to hit a land though, so we are gonna attack with Looter, and I don't care if they have Garrick at four. If they want to ultimate Garrick for some obscure reason, we can. That's that's what we're looking for here, boys. Now I'm going to get rid of the Damnation. Yeah, I make dance. Let me know what day works for you. I don't know if you mentioned it. You might have, actually. You probably did. You sent a pretty informative email, which I appreciate. Um, yeah. I'm just going to pass here. But yeah, let me know what day works. Yeah, I like, I like when I'm able to associate, like the the viewer with the you know with like their actual name and like when they send an email and stuff so that's cool i'm glad i can put two and two together like that untapperino oh god oh god actually i'm going to counter whatever ability they use here oh they're going to actually try to kill ashiok yeah we're going to cycle this that's a little scary. All right. Well, now we have to... All right, that's fine. We can still play everything underneath it, so... Oh, that was a good draw. Well, that was a good draw. God, Garrick is plus one to kill a Planeswalker? That's unbelievable to me. I guess we can actually, like, accept that... I think Thrun is probably the pick here, right? Let's attack first. We want to put one more card in the graveyard because we can just play Tasker this turn if we do. I also do send a picture with Ollie about a year ago when I met him. Nice. <laughs> that's oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna you're gonna you gotta go though. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, I'm actually considering playing more SCG open events. I don't know if that does anything for anybody. If that's uh, yep, we are definitely getting something here. Could have also gotten Noxious Gearhulk killed this and played, like, something else. But I think Gauntie or Thrun is actually pretty good here. I think Thrun is just unbeatable, right? Yep, that is fine. All right, make a beast. Ophiomancer, that's good too. I wish I had some. Uh... Wish I had some green mana to regenerate. Well, we just F6 our turn. That was pretty cool. That's probably going to cost us the game. I just hit the wrong button. But we did find the green mana. So that's good. So, cast. Return to your creature from your graveyard to your hand. I think we're just going to do uh, one of these and none of these. We can get back Massacre Worm. Like, the only thing we missed there is uh, attacking. I still like being able to kill the Tireless Tracker and the Ophiomancer, so I'm pretty fine with that. K 
Karak up to seven is pretty ridiculous. What do you hit here? You just hit a land, right? Maybe it's best that we didn't play the Blooming Marsh. Now we uh, can regenerate the Garrick. Or the Throne, rather. What do you do? Kaiga? Man, it's almost like if we had Massacre Room in the Graveyard still, we can make shift Mannequin and get it back. I'm a little scared of this Garrick ultimating here, but... Why don't we have answers to these things? These are my questions. And their beasts have death touch? Come on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just have to pass here. It's not ideal. We'll just keep up Mannequin. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> Double Garrix is pretty brutal. Wow. Is this real life? This is where they untap two and just, uh, oh, they just make a million. This is interesting. They could have just added another prey counter. Oh, they, there's no other creatures to prey onto, I guess. This is nice. I'm liking what's happening here. Yep, lots of things are happening. And do you expect Chupacabra to kill something? It's probably Masquerum that also kills a thing. Could have also gotten Kaiga. Yeah, this actually seems fine. And then we can actually kill this guy, too. Losing a Thrun seems pretty bad, though. I'm not really thrilled about that. Nor am I thrilled about them getting back the Woodfall Primus, because I'm trying to get to Shulred, and they're just not making it easy for me, unfortunately. Yep. Bayou. Jason Mind Sculptor. Hmm. I mean, do we just lose to this? Probably. Damnation in the graveyard. I just block here, right?
Oh, all right. Well, that's cool. And get rid of one, two, three. Looter. And probably Nimble Obstructionist. Actually, no, Nimble Obstructionist seems okay. We will get rid of all the cards we don't want to draw with this, which are Delta. I mean, obviously, not Delta. It's not coming back. Looter, I don't care about. Skin Render is not great. Yeah, that's fine. Everything else, I'm pretty okay drawing. All right. This game has been uh, pretty good. This is crater hoof. They're just crater hoofing, right? Like. Drana, followed by Crater Hoof. I'm waiting. Gray Merchant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. Alright, well, it's not Erebos. Why not play that first and then get another pip off of Gray Merchant? Unless you drew it off the Grey Merchant. Yep. Pretty sure we're dead, right? We take three automatically because we're not blocking that guy. We take five, so we go to one. way out of this one what all right now I feel a little better one two three four five six still not there yet wow all right I need a hero Now we got a game. Wow, that was great. What are the chances of a Mike sighting? Pretty, pretty much zero. Mike's at work right now. He's working until about 1 a.m. Well, now, wait, why didn't I gain life? Why did I stay at nine? Gain life equals toughness. Why didn't I gain life there? Why did I not gain life? God, Erebos. Oh my god, six life is so good. When is that ever relevant? Come on. Come on. I was like, six life, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna have a blast.
ASI said you suck. I don't know what that means. What are you saying right now? What are you saying to me? The punts are up to four. I mean, it's not a punt. I mean, I'm still going to do the same thing. Just because I didn't see the Airbus on board doesn't mean I wasn't going to make that play. Yeah, I love when people are in chat and they literally join a stream and they have nothing positive to contribute. It's like... I mean, I get if you want to troll. Like, I love trolling. Like, troll me troll me to death, man. But, I mean, if that's your only contribution to any sort of online community or, or streamer or what have you, like, you should probably reevaluate your life. Because uh, you're not... You, when you walk into a room, you're not the guy people are going to be excited to see. That's, that's really what it just comes down to. Erebos... Just both of these guys at the face, huh? I'll take four here. Or five. Kill old Primey. This guy's on borrowed time anyway, man. The fact that I got that many hits off with that guy is pretty astonishing. Strimmer bad. Make mistake. We have a good time. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's play this. Let's bounce this. And let's recklessly go to three life here. No attacks whatsoever. They have six cards in their hand. If they crater hoof, we're dead, but I don't know. Final answer. No. Okay. We're having a good time. Playing the old swamp tap, tap, tapping game. There we go. Out of forest into the mix. Nope. Okay. Well. They have three cards left in their library? Oh my god. I think we're dead. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Just play your cards, man. Oh man, I don't know what's happening. <sighs> oh, if I had an ancestral, I would 100% go to their dome. 100% go into their dome. <sighs> I mean,. I guess Crater Hoof could be one of the last three cards in their deck. I guess we can have that. I don't know why you just, like, you just play it right now, right? Maybe you don't. Maybe it's not good enough. We have a lot of power on the board. A lot of toughness on the board. Bestiary has actually su been surprisingly good in, in my experience. Both playing against it and with it. Uh, it is a pretty surprising addition to the cube. Here we go. I mean, you can play Erebos Arabo first. Oh, 
Oh my god. Come on, dude. <laughs> Today, Junior. Okay. They didn't draw a card, which is fascinating. So we're gonna have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Like we're just so dead. And if you have crater huff, just play the crater huff. Here we go. There you go. I don't know why that why, why is so hard. I don't understand. Let's go to the next game. Let's take out the Vraska. I'll keep this hand. They're not very quick decks, so. Yeah, I have gotten uh, nothing but... I've had nothing but awesome experiences with I Am Valley Man, so... I can confirm that I Am Valley Man is an incredible, incredible person. They are... He is a good dude. Alright, that's actually pretty solid. I could save this for the rest of the game and be okay with it. That's a lot of work for something everybody knew was happening. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't understand what's going on here. You can, I'm tapped out. You can cast it by itself and still kill me. So, like, we don't have to go through all this this rigmarole. So, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for all the love. Get out of here, dude. You have been the most generous. Uh, of subscribers that I've ever seen. I mean, you know, you're in a class with like Josh and Tanos, you know, like it's like the uh, the gold tier subscribers. I guess I, I don't know why I played this because I could just not take in damage, but I I got into my head that I was like, I'm gonna need the second black for this guy, so I might as well play this now, and then I just take a point. So whatever, it's fine. I'm go shoulder it and consecrated sphinx back. Hmm, this is interesting. This is interesting. I like that I played my land first. I'm not playing at peak today. I'm definitely, uh... Okay, well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of expensive creatures and, uh... They didn't play anything last turn and they had four mana. I'm probably just going to kill this. And if you want to put it back on top, knock yourself out. Yep. And now we... Uh... I want to hit a land, otherwise I would not do this. But I think this is fine... Shieldred and Sphinx can go back. I don't want to play Kai God on Empty Board. I also didn't want to play Consecrated Sphinx because we have way too many cards already. Let's discard a Shieldred. And we're doing that because I don't really think it matters, and uh, it's just more valuable to me to not waste time. We have plenty of removal in hand. We have a negate. I think this game has ended. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I know the uh, first two matches were pretty much train wrecks, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully we still had a good time. Thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving Twitch. I'm literally just ending the YouTube video, so be sure to stick around. 
And if you are watching on YouTube, you can check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.